Okay, I didn't want to say this, but you've put on some weight. Probably a little too much weight. Is it true that we're having another baby? What well, is true? We are having another baby. But at least it's not our baby. I think I'd pass out. Josie is this close from going into labor. So we'll be right back into the milk extension. That's why we've been practicing so much. going to head down to the pig forest because we have one of our lard hogs that is ready to be processed so we are actually heading down we are our plan is to move him over to our catch pen on the other side of the pig forest because in that catch pen he's not going to have as much room to maneuver so if he decides that he gets irritated with us and wants to turn around where he's at now he's got a whole forest that he can run in so instead of us having to try to chase him in that pig forest we're going to move him over in the catch pen where he's got a smaller space and when we put pressure on him just a little bit it makes him want to go forward and he will only have a little bit of space so his only option really will be to go forward and that way we can get him over in our trailer because in just a couple of days he is going off to be processed. They're so excited because uh -uh. y'all heard us do a lot of talking about not having any rain and thankfully we finally did get some rain so it is a little kind of doomy gloomy looking here today it rained a steady rain all day yesterday which honestly our grounds needed really really bad if you can look over you can see in our this is the pig forest where we're headed next and if you look over there you can see how much trees we are losing Now, the thing with apparently the drought is the drought forces bugs into the trees and obviously they're killing the trees. Uh, we have talked to a couple of people that we have been trying to get to come and cut some of those trees out and get them out of here, mainly because we know it's gonna, now those trees are gonna eventually fall. We have fencing everywhere and we have animals in there. And not only that, if we leave the bugs in there, they're just gonna eventually take out all of the trees. So a little bit of an issue here with the woods just from um, the bugs, but I'm gonna be honest with you, we've had a lot of fires in our area. So I would rather be dealing with this than like our land catching on fire. But I will say, um, it is in the works and progress to try to come and collect. This is just one section. We have a couple of sections over in the areas and those pines and those some of those soft cedars that are, uh, yeah that it really hasn't been good dealing with some of those issues it could be worse but that is kind of what we're dealing with well, we went through probably one of the worst droughts i believe colby and i have ever seen in our lifetime with the lack of rain last year we spanned a little more than a month this year it has been almost three months and we've had very, very, very little rain in those three months. So thankfully we did get a little bit of rain yesterday, but to be completely honest, I would not hurt my feelings if it just rained and rained for the next couple of days because our grounds need it here really bad. We are going to build a walkway across, hopefully make things a little bit easier. He is real laid back. Now I say that, it's gonna be a nightmare. But he is typically real laid back and um, they move real slow because they're so fat. So we're hoping that this is going to be pretty easy. And once we get him over in here to the catch pen, it's going to make loading up in the trailer a whole lot easier. And I'll show y'all exactly what I'm talking about in just a minute.
this is really what I'm talking about in this area right here. You can see that we have, those are really horse panels, but it allows, it's going to allow us to put him in a smaller area and put pressure on him from the back so that when we open up this gate right here, we'll have the trailer backed up. We put pressure on him from the back. He can't just turn around and run anywhere he wants. So we actually used this area right here to make our, it's kind of like a pig corral, a pig catch pen, whatever you want to call it. It just makes things a whole lot easier for us so that we can slip them in and easily maneuver them from this area into a trailer. It just makes things on the farm a whole lot easier. bad at all again heritage breed pigs are much easier to deal with than like the commercial pig if we tried to load a commercial pig or move a commercial pig that easy it would have never been it can you leave around. him over there i probably wouldn't because in just a few minutes if we don't get him out of there big red is going to get in there yeah so he's be, they're both being pretty calm right now and actually um the american guinea hog is cut now if he wasn't cut it would be like world war three up in that pen right now but he is foaming at the mouth. He is letting him know you're in the wrong territory, buddy, which is a good thing, but it can make things a little difficult as well. Which is our boar is over here like, what are you doing in my personal space? So as much as I would just be like, hey, let's leave him up here until literally like we're fisting to take him. Cause what we do, we have a local butcher here and we take them and let the local butcher do um, everything up to the point of cutting in half. So they'll actually do the, um, the kill, the chill, and saves us a tremendous amount of time. And Colby will start that process of breaking down. We will have lard and we will have lots and lots of sausage. So let me tell y'all what we just did. When we had this one in here, he was the next one we were raising up to take off. He is not real big, but he is a mix. He's as big as he's gonna get. Right, he's pretty much as big as he, he's right. gonna get. We've grown him out. He's probably what, 15, 16 Four, months? 14, 15 months, yeah. Something like that. A little over a year, Not probably not quite half a year and a half, but the thing with him is his mom was bred by Big Red, which was complete by accident. We did not mean for her to be crossbred, but when she had piglets, we ended up cutting the males and this was one of the males that we decided to just keep and grow off and just see how they grow out since she was crossbred. We thought we were gonna have a really hard time getting them in together, but it actually played out in our benefit very well because he gets bullied with the other big pigs. So he come over here where the food was at. So we slipped that gate open and ran him right in. Now they are gonna have to establish dominance right when we got him in. They kind of went round and round for a minute just because that's just the nature of the animal kingdom. Somebody has to establish dominance. So now our next thing is we have to get them in the trailer which may or may not happen today. If it doesn't happen today, it just is what it is. We will wait until they are really, really hungry pour some feed up at the top of the trailer and they'll walk right in. You can see one of the benefits to having a low trailer is they don't have very far to step. Right, up. So it's not as intimidating to them to have to jump up in the trailer. I'm gonna go hold those two gates. Uh, One's already coming in. Oh, don't touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this. I wouldn't get in there with them if I were you. Alright, Aiden, watch it Hey, as soon as he goes, I am. Oh. Woo! 
So far, so good. They are in. That was really not as bad as we thought it was going to be. To be honest with you, we have done this pig thing for so long. Sometimes it goes as planned and sometimes it just doesn't. The main thing we have found out is just to kind of have a plan in place and we have done this for so long. We really have just found out kind of work what works best. Counting down the days is where we are at. So stanchion training is still going on every day. Our girls are still going in the stanchion. We are still having a little bit of a hesitancy with Buttercup. She unfortunately is not progressing as quickly as we had hoped. We are, of course, able to get her in the stanchion. We are able to lock her in and we are able to rub on her bag. She gets petted every time she goes in, but I will say getting her in is still a major challenge to where we want her to eventually feel so comfortable that as soon as we open up the gate, she knows where her feet is at and she literally goes straight in. Now, the difference between a really good cow and a cow that probably won't stay here is that Gus is just as new as Buttercup and she will literally go right in. She comes straight from over there. She lines up at the gate. She's actually already at the gate. She writes right over, right in here. As soon as the red gate's open, she knows exactly where she wants to go. That is a good cow. We don't want to have to force them in the stanchion every time we go. Now, their personalities are just a little bit different. Every cow is a little bit different and that's okay. But we don't want her to act like she loses her mind every time we get ready to go in the stanchion. And she may always be a little hesitant like that, but we don't know we'll see hopefully it might be one of those things where one day she just turns the corner and it's not that big of a deal we hope that's the scenario they have already gotten in a routine josie is so close she is so big her bag is growing bigger every day and we expect i expect a baby by next weekend so within the next seven to i would venture to say maybe 10 days but at least at least 10 days maybe even seven five to seven she may be even having a baby so we are just waiting we're watching her every day waiting for her to have her baby and um you know we want to make sure that she has a really good delivery a smooth delivery that she's not showing any signs of lethargy or any she's never had trouble with delivering as far as the baby getting stuck or anything like that uh, so we we and she's been bred to a um smaller bull she shouldn't have any problems but um you know we will still watch her to make sure her delivery goes well and everything goes well with that and you see the three mamas lined up right there and buttercup just is she just is y'all she's <laughs> She's, I mean, you can see Josie. She's stopped right there. She's waiting. She's being very patient. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing. You see the three girls right there. But Buttercup just gives us fits. She doesn't want to follow the leak. She doesn't really want to follow. Uh, she kind of does her own thing. See, look at Gus. Here Gus comes. <laughs> she she always comes running and Josie does too. Buttercup is young, so I'm hoping that hoping maybe fingers crossed. She is the weakest link right now for sure, but she is still young. So we're hoping that the older she gets and the more she settles down, the more she gets used to this place, maybe some of that will play out, you know. We don't know, but right now she is definitely by far the weakest link. She is the most difficult one to work with. She's not your favorite either, is she? She's not my favorite. Not like a stressful situation teaching a cow. See, there goes good. I think you got your leader right there, Daddy. She is again one of the new ones on the farm. Look at her, y'all. She walked right in. Absolutely no hesitancy. She stays still. She moves her leg where she's supposed to go. Just a wonderful and 
I always wanted a Holstein. Um, we happened to see her and Colby goes, well, there's a Holstein that you wanted. And I was like, well, I don't know. We kind of talked through it, whatever. We decided to get her and she has proven to be such a good cow. I would venture to be willing to say she's even better than Josie, isn't she? Right now, she's done really good. She's done really good. I only give them alfalfa when they're in the stanchion. So they get a little extra treat other than just typical feed. So um, I think she's grown custom. Yeah. to show you we've been doing this day in and day out and how she's still a little difficult to try to maneuver she goes in and instead of going into the stanchion every single time she goes and stands at the gate like she's walking across with the other girls and she knows that's not what you do That was probably the better of the times, huh? Yeah. That was probably one of the easier times we've had with her. Usually she stands there and either we have to kind of put our hand on her hip side and just kind of give her an oomph, not push her, but just say, this is the direction you're supposed to go. Don't back up. But she actually did. That was probably one of the better times. So after all that being rude to her, she actually did okay. So. She's learning, that's where she goes to get her treats. That wraps us up for today. We just wanted to show you how things were going in the stanchion. And we are literally on baby watch for any day. Josie should be having that baby. I'm hoping within 10 days, she is going to be having her baby. She is showing signs of being very, very close. So we are really excited. Are you excited? I am. Uh, I don't want to pay for milk, so it actually makes me very excited. Though. Not to pay for milk anymore. Yeah, I did a real bad job of putting enough milk up for us. So for the past couple of weeks, we've been buying organic milk from the store and we are ready. I'm probably more ready than him, but because <laughs> he has to come out here and be the one milking at four o'clock in the morning. But I love the things like making my own butter, having my own fresh milk. It is so worth him coming out to milk. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are excited. We are so, 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 so close. And we're just gonna watch her and make sure all is well with her. And um, we will be having a baby soon, y'all. So stay tuned. We will show you what she has, whether it's gonna be a little bull calf or a heifer. Either way for us, it doesn't really matter. We really are not planning on keeping any of these lines of babies until the um jersey bull over there rebreeds them all so we're still a couple of years off from that but on baby watch and we couldn't be more excited happy home sitting y'all i just feel so lucky oh.